For Robert Halver, there's no getting around the ratings agencies. Like other market analysts, he has to go by their ratings even when they don't make much sense to him. Like the recent downgrading of Portugal. The ratings agencies have a lot of power, almost as much as the U.S. Federal Reserve. Right after a ratings agency makes a pronouncement about an EU country, interest rates there immediately rise and the euro falls. These are important factors when analyzing the capital markets. The U.S. ratings agencies have made themselves unpopular here in Europe. Almost every day they make headlines and are branded the terribly powerful or arsonists. Some EU countries feel they've been treated unfairly and rated too poorly. The agencies shun the bad publicity. Only the head of the German branch of Standard & Poor's was willing to answer journalists' questions. I can understand that the influence ratings exert in certain areas might cause unease, since after all there are just three rating agencies that operate internationally. On the other hand, it's the investors and other market players who attach importance to ratings. Basically, everyone is free to make use of them or not. Some say banks and politicians are the ones who've allowed the agencies to become so influential. For example, most investment funds have committed themselves to purchase only bonds that have good ratings. In doing so, they've made themselves reliant on Moody's, Fitch and Standard & Poor's. Consulting firm Roland Berger would like to change that. Never has the time to create a European ratings agency looked as promising. The consultants already have a proposal on the table. First, we propose that this ratings agency be set up as a non-profit organization. As it wouldn't be for profit, it would have a high degree of independence compared to all the others. Secondly, it should be extremely transparent. Ratings are supposed to create transparency, but in practice, agencies use information which isn't made public but influences their ratings. The secret knowledge or method plus lack of transparency, creates a situation where not everyone has access to the information. The consultants are lobbying politicians and businesses for support. If they're willing to cough up the 300 million euros, the agency could come into being next year. Then, analyst Robert Halva could base his market forecasts on European as well as American ratings and perhaps come to some very different conclusions.